menstrual hygiene management and how menstrual hygiene management can provide freedom of mobility to women. This is the basically outline of my presentation, so I will not uh, talk much. The background of this entire this issue, if we see as context of India, the discussion about the cultural and religious taboos related to menstruation is started at certain platform. People do started discussing about the what is menstrual hygiene, what is menstruation, what are the different taboos related to this. But comprehensive approach as far as the program and policy level are concerned, it's still neglected as menstruation hygiene management as a whole. If you see uh, many of the girls which uh, we found in our study also that girls after attaining minarchy, they are trying to be reluctant to attend school during the menstruation because there is a lack of facility for managing the menstruation. A woman entire in her life required on an average 7,000 pads to manage her menstruation till she attains the menopause. But still, even after that, majority of our rural women do not have access to sanitary napkins. There are many reasons for this. And those who are can have access to sanitary napkins, they are not afford to buy these sanitary napkins. One of the reasons for uh, non affordability is high cost and maybe one reason for this high cost of sanitary napkins because of the heavy tax levied on this. Though this is the recurring expenses for every woman, every month she required this thing, but still taxes for this particular product is slightly higher side. We did some uh, studies for understanding the ground realities. This is not a very different from the other countries, but if you see, we have done, did this study uh, covering 53 slums and 159 villages of Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh. And findings are really uh, mind boggling uh, findings. If you see, 89% of respondents are using cloth pad, which they are repeatedly using for every month. 2% respondents use cotton pieces. 7% only uses sanitary napkins. And we found the 2% females are also using ashes ash for managing this uh, menstruation because ash has soaking uh, capacity. 38 respondents from particular community, we have Saharia tribe, they are, they are not supposed to come out of the cow sheds of that 4 to 5 days. They have to sit in that cow sheds only because they are treated as an impure during that period. So they are not supposed to come out of that cow shed, they have to spend their days in cow sheds only. 50% of these responders are not at all aware about the sanitary napkins. They are not seen as well, the sanitary napkins. 33% those who are aware about the sanitary napkins, 33% of them are not using because it is very costly. We did found some of the diseases also because of wrong practices following by uh, during this menstruation. If you see that, 48 respondents complain the white discharge, continuous white discharge throughout the month. Two respondents we found suffering from leukoria. 277 high numbers uh, reporting the itching and burning uh, sensation after the menses. 15 respondents we found those who are suffering from this ovary swelling problem. And nine respondents, this is very common, but during that time only we found nine respondents reported their cuts on thighs and even frequent urination. They suppose that during menstruation, he has to frequently visit uh, for urinating. And 37% those who are not having household hygiene, they are compelled to manage this menstruation at different places. If you see, around 638 women are managing this menstruation in open field. So you just see the what is the stress they are going through during this menstruation. The photo is representing where they are storing their cloth pads once they are complete with this menses. So you can see the safety and hygienic part of that pads which she is going to use for next month. If you see the school situation where I already mentioned that why girls are not attending the schools once they attain the minarchy or during their menstruation. Out of this 1759 school, only 225 schools have separate toilets for boys and girls. If you see water availability for uh, this toilets, only 163 hand washing facility only in 484 schools and none of these schools have availability of sanitary napkin, neither the disposal facilities in schools. Some of the schools after this SACOSAN commitment, 
they constructed the incinerator but that incinerators are not complete in nature it is not uh, functional you can see from the photographs as far as access is concerned to sanitary napkins we did uh, survey at small scale level that we have did survey in 62 villages in the 62 villages around 187 shops are there and none of the shops are keeping this sanitary napkins neither the related products which is required for menstruation Shop owners and vendors reported that there is a no demand so why to stock the sanitary napkins and rural women expressed that they feel shy to buy these products from the shops because mainly shop, uh, the, those who are selling this, they are men so they are feeling shy and as you know our community. There is one case study, small case study but very heartbreaking case study. Uh, in one of the uh, Malwa region in Madhya Pradesh, uh, girls and women are using this straw, paddy straw under their cloth for managing the menstruation. So once this girl, when she got menstruation, uh, there was a no electricity and she took the straws and there was an insect in that straw. And as you must be aware that during the menstruation all parts gets open and that insect got entered to vagina and through vagina its uterus and she was not um, aware about this incident. She was suffering from stomach ache after completing uh, menses also she was having stomach ache but in our rural area generally women neglect this kind of pro problem and they uh, avoid to visit doctors but when next month she didn't get the periods and stomach ache was severe that time her mother took her to doctor and doctor said it's too late now uterus is severely infected and she has to got operated so just see she is deprived from motherhood everything just because of small hygiene behavior so with this background, Water Aid India has taken some initiatives to because we were working for water sanitation hygiene but this menstrual hygiene component was not included in our integrated program. So we thought we need to include this is the very important part if we are really want to address the women this peculiar issue. And we started discussing with our partners but partners were reluctant to handle these issues because they are predominantly male, male staffs are more and they were having that fear that if they start working on the sensitive issues community may reject them because this is very sensitive issue how to handle they were having the apprehension for this even our female staff, field staff were very um, uh, feeling shy or they are not capable enough to express what difficulties they are facing and many of our NGOs must be aware about that what happening to our female field level workers during the menstruation they are visiting fields but what about the facilities available for them to managing the menstruation we need to ask ourselves whether our offices have sufficient facilities for managing the menstruation for this female field labor workers or our staff if you see in this brack center also how many of our toilets have this sanitary napkins availability so that is the big question mark so one our field level worker has expressed that she has to change the sanitary napkins at entry level of 8 to 10 hours and sometimes more than that. So what stress and pressure she is having during this menstruation, whether she has to do her work and she has to look at herself because there is so much shame and other things and even physical things is attached to their menstruation. So with this background, we started our intervention by giving training to our field level workers. After giving training, we did this entire survey of different label, which findings already I shared. We started discussing at CBO, uh, CBO's level because there are so many myths and misconceptions attached to entire this menstruation. Because when we started discussing with women, they said very clearly that menstruation means just the flow of impure blood from the body. They were not at all aware about the reproductive system and menstruation importance to this. Are you five minutes? Oh, 